Hey guys, welcome to a very special video. I'm Stuart. I'm Ross. I'm Rob. And we have hit 5,000 5, subscribers. <laughs> 5,000 subscribers. We're actually oh. way over now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're nearly at 5,100 <laughs> in two days. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, we put a post out a few days ago um, just before we hit 5,000 subscribers. As a celebration. Yes, yeah. yes, and we do a quick Q&A because we haven't actually like, really talked about other than doing re reactions. We don't really talk about anything mm -hmm. else. So yeah. Um, so, yeah uh, We've had a great response. Hopefully, this video will not take too long. But we have, yeah, we've had a sort of a, a massive lot of questions in. So I thought we would just sort of go through them, mm -hmm. sure. answer them. There might be a few duplications in. I'll sort of quickly scan through them. And, um, there's a couple of duplications, but I'll try and yeah, yeah fine. <laughs> we don't prep for. It. We'll do it live. We yeah. don't prep for shit. <laughs> so, uh, but I'll do, yeah, I'll do it for some oldest first. So, as it, so the first question, Isaac F, number one fan, because he went came first. <laughs> That's a nice question. Like, how did you guys meet? I mean, I, I only bet you when I like showed up at this house one time. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> you get rid of the DHL parcel. It was, like, it, was like, it, was like a, it was like a blind date. I don't date, even know you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a blind date. No, no. But, um, yeah, so myself, about you yeah, myself yeah. and Ross, we met at secondary school. Um, 20 odd years ago. Yeah, in science. Science, science class. Science, right? yeah. Yeah, science class. With the, uh, um, yeah. yeah, buns and burners and shit. Chem chem was chemistry, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah? Yeah. Buns and burners, burning shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Had really bad breath. So I remember. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Looked like um, dark brown a little bit. It was female. <laughs> Do you remember? <laughs> Do you remember? You're no. making this up. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you remember? Oh, oh man, I can't remember her name. No. She did. Anyway, no. Anyway, <laughs> oh. um, yeah. So yeah, we we met at school and we went to college together. And then, yeah, just hung around each other ever since. Yeah. And then, yeah. get rid of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a bad smell. Yeah. Hang around. Like a bad Definitely smell. a bad smell. Yeah, so that's pretty obvious. And then, yeah, sort of, it must have been, so I've been married seven years, so I did stag do, so it must have been eight years ago. I did, like, archery on my stag do. Mm -hmm. And then took it up as a hobby. And then, yeah, met Rob at Archery Club. Yeah. Um, found out that we had a joint fascination with all things superhero related and hot toys, mm -hmm. which are all these things up here. Yep. Um, behind us. Um, yeah. Something I met. Ross, you joined the club yeah. first, didn't yeah. you? Yeah, because you joined a different club. Yeah. Yes. I couldn't join his club. So you came and did his... You were on my no, beginner's not, course. Not, yeah, not we high were, brow enough, mate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, Ross was on my beginner's course, so we, <laughs> we, right. we, were, we both uh, sort of got talking, so we both like comics. So that's yeah. how we... Yeah. And then we, so we joined the club, and then you said, I've got a mate. And then, I was like, yeah. Stu, come over to our club, yeah. it's much better. And you're oh. like, all right, done. Yeah, yeah. And I hate everyone else here, so yes, mate. Yeah, yeah. So then, yeah, and we sort of... Yeah, always talked about superhero stuff. Got a friend, Liam, who does our podcasts over in New York who um, who I've known since I was like two he's my old neighbour and um, yeah used to, I grew up with him and he moved away a little while ago I keep in touch with him and yeah we sort of all just like used to chat on Facebook Messenger all the time when we should have been working about yeah. like programs and everything mm. we were just like oh we should just like chat about on podcast if you've seen our Rise of the Skywalker trailer analysis we um, the first time we all got together and did a podcast was after we all watched um, oh, Last Jedi Last Jedi yeah we all wanted to well the first one was Justice League yes because we wanted to talk about it so we said, oh, well, let's just phone each other on Facebook. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. And then we did it. And then uh, we were, like, chatting for, like, two hours or whatever. Yeah, right? yeah, and then we said, working we said, well, we should just record this and set up as a podcast. Yeah, yeah exactly, yeah. And then we and did that for it Star all Wars. scrolled out of that. Yeah. So, yeah, and then, yeah, we sort of, sort of set up the channel as a, as a little hobby. And, it's, yeah, it's gone really well ever since. So we're, like, mm -hmm. nearly a yeah. year and a half? Over a year and a half doing it. So, yeah, and this is where we are now. Yeah. Hopefully, you're going to get bigger and bigger and bigger, hopefully. Right. Um, but, yeah, but thank you for your question, Isaac. Then you know our full history. <laughs> 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 most comprehensive way possible yeah, yeah. there you go yeah. Um, cool so next one is uh, just AA a cool name AA this is the one that made me laugh the most I think we yeah, all saw yeah, this one yeah. we've, so even, guys, we've renamed our Facebook names to yeah. this yeah yeah just, just for you mate. so we've got my chemistry teacher Aaron from Blind Wave and the big show <laughs> You guys are great personalities. Will you ever create your own content such as sketches, etc.? I, so. I mean, I don't think we're clever after these sketches, but yeah, okay. I, I think um, given something else to talk about at the end of the video, the amount yeah. of um, interruption we've had recently from copyright claims and strikes. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. We were definitely want to try and do some of our own content. So we yeah. do, we do, we do like um, games nights quite a lot. So we're going to think about maybe recording them. Yeah. Or live stream them um, a little bit. I know me and Rob have spoken about trying to do like hot toys reviews, but that's never like never a fine time to do it. But yeah, but <laughs> yeah. You don't keep them long enough. <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, that is true. They're on a, they're on a quick turnaround. That's why uh, they're missing. Like, yeah, the last like couple of weeks. quite a few missing. Yeah, <laughs> uh, you know, pay off, pay off money. It's a, it's, um, a, it's a pipe dream that we'll, we'll get down. Yeah. To, well, hopefully, we'll be doing something. Like yeah, yeah, that. yeah, but definitely, yeah, we want to try and do some sort of um, more, maybe more Q and A videos, maybe some sort of more. Yeah, anything that sort of doesn't involve like any sort of risk to copyright. Yeah. I think we're going to try. But yeah, we've got a few ideas coming through the uh, pipeline. Um, AA, so we'll, we'll keep you updated. Thank you very much for that. I'm, oh, I'm trying to pronounce that one. <laughs> Is that Mithirin and Aswarin? Exactly. <laughs> Mithirin and Aswarin. Sorry, I've totally mispronounced your name. Yes, yeah, so uh, um, what do you guys do other than doing YouTube? So, job wise. Do you think outside of work? Or? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's just, 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 just so work or just like hobbies? I don't know. Oh. Uh, well, you do archery, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, games nights, read comic yeah. books. <laughs> Most things super related, like yeah. comic book related, super related. Mm -hmm. I mean, like work wise, um, I'm a scrum master. Google it if you don't know what that is. It's not rugby. No. <laughs> Nothing to do with rugby. You won't, scrum you, won't see, you won't see Stu facing down New Zealand this weekend. Yeah. <laughs> That's just a big show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, could, I could do it. Though. I could do it. But yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, like a, a scrum master slash sort of product owner mm. manager type thing. I'm a network manager. Yep. That's just Fixing everything IT wise. General contractor fixing all kinds of stuff, keeping the boulder from falling down the hill. <laughs> <laughs> just, a, just a general contractor of anything. General, yeah, propping up the industry. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, paper Top, we got. Are you guys paying to continue YouTube? I goddamn hope so. Mm, yeah. <laughs> we'll as long be as doing we, this video about it. As long as we can, as long as we want so to. Just don't get getting blocked. Yeah. We'll be all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> as long as, yeah. yeah the, uh, the, the, oh, we won't name them for fear of getting strikes, but the, the company that keeps claiming all our videos and blocking them, mm. as long as they stop that nonsense, we can put some content out. Yes, yeah. Yeah, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully so, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, the people, we, will, we will be doing as many videos as possible. So, I mean, we're, we're sort of our max, our max limit at the moment due to sort of, say, work commitments and everything yeah. else is five. So, that's why we're doing five at the moment. So, as things finish, like when Titans finishes, we'll be doing another show mm. and when like CW has a break we'll try and mm. squeeze some other stuff in but yeah, yeah sadly we uh, we can't do this full time yet and that would be the dream one mm. day because we only film two nights a week yeah so. yeah because yeah. yeah. of our, 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 our work <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. yeah yeah and like most reactors who are all doing this hard as work as well they're all single single people we've seen on the on the YouTube yeah doing single you know, they get able to watch and edit straight away we have to find a time when we're all free mm. <laughs> yeah exactly yeah find, find a couple of days that we're all free and yeah. then we have to sort of yeah, spend time while you guys do the editing don't you so, <laughs> yeah. so, so she takes I mean, but on my, better man than me, man. Exactly. On, on my laptop, it takes very <laughs> very <laughs> stuff. I got to buy a new PC. <laughs> uh, yeah, but um, yeah, so thank you for your question, Paper Top. Real Krishina O One. Teddy butchered it again. I'm going to butcher all these names. I'm so so sorry. Um, I, scri I subscribed because you guys gave an awesome review of my favourite show, Batwoman. <laughs> yes, we do because I freaking love Batwoman. Yeah. I have no idea. It's an okay show. Why? Yeah. It, it's. I think its main problem was. Um, I've talked about this before. It's. It was really poorly marketed. It. Um, <coughs> the trailer wasn't particularly good, and it relied too much on. Ah, oh, we're going to piss off a certain group of people, and then all the hate clicks from that are going to get us marketing. Just don't do that. Yeah. If you want your show to survive, give us some positive qualities on it. Just yeah, don't, yeah. don't market it on. I hate. think Titans suffered from yeah. that as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that the fuck Batman thing in the trailer yeah. for yeah. Titans. I think everyone was like, "Well, I'm going to watch this." Yeah. Fuck Batman. Well, fuck you. Not watching yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, he's one of the best <laughs> shows. Yeah, yeah, and I think I'm saying we watched the episode three of Batwoman Two Nights Again. It just, it just came up on our YouTube channel today. Brilliant episode. Bring, bring Tommy yeah. Elliott and men, referencing the Riddler. Yeah, no. I mean, it's finding its feet as all show CW show do. You yeah. go back to the first ever few episodes of Arrow and, and Flash, and they took a while to find their exactly. own. Exactly. Um, yeah, just it. We're giving every show we can a fair chance. We'd like to keep our own personal politics out of the shows to make sure we can give you the best mm. possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, just don't mark it poorly. <laughs> just do. Yeah. I know. I, 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 I honestly hope they don't. <laughs> <laughs> they don't sort of listen to the critics and, and cancel the show after a couple of seasons because I reckon it could be we'll see where it, goes. it could mm. be an amazing show. Yeah. They really do. Yeah, definitely. It yeah. may it may even be treading water up until crisis because they've got they've got like a mandate they've got to do something until they can get yeah. out. So yeah, we'll exactly. wait and see. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So it's the only one show that isn't mentioning crisis yet. So that's quite interesting mm. as well. Mm. Yes, but thank you for your question. Mm -hmm. uh, we got Ralph Jim Girino. Again, really badly pronounced. <laughs> God damn. Maybe I should be reading these out. You can pass it around and we'll do. Questions. Yeah, I <laughs> know, yeah, right? So. Um, you guys are a fan of Eminem? Mm, not particularly. <laughs> <laughs> well, not for me, anyway. No. <laughs> I mean, I mean, when, when I'm when I'm out when I'm out really pissed and it comes in the club, I'm from the shadiest under the shady. It's pretty fucking cool. Still past that. Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Just jumping around like the big show. Going, ah, big show. I've seen you dance to Stan. Um, yeah, <laughs> to Stan. Wow. 
that's after about 40 pints and a couple of Boilermakers but that's I mean if I could drink 40 pints I'd be a fucking god I'm ridiculous about 5 I'm done um, but you know that's probably one of my favourite ones I actually listened to that the other night, of night but no yeah sadly more of a rock background for me mm, I, play, yeah. I play guitar so anything sort of with a good guitar riff I'm into but, um, Tell well, us, you, you play the 80s cartoons. Yeah, any <laughs> 80s cartoons cartoon themes, um, all over them, <laughs> all over playing the guitar. Um, but yeah, so yeah, no, sad, sadly not, Ralph. No, no. Eminem fan <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, oh, God, we've got Thanos has contacted us. He wants backup, does he? <laughs> <laughs> From the big show. Yeah, <laughs> damn right. <laughs> um, so he says, uh, Will you be excited for the Arrowverse shows after Crisis Ends? Because most people are excited to watch the show this season, mostly because of the setup to Crisis, which I think is a fair point. Yeah, yeah. It's very similar with what we've been talking about on some of our content recently with um, Marvel, isn't it? Uh, yes. I was really excited for Infinity War and Endgame, and now looking at Phase Four, going, mm. I'll yeah. watch it, but I'm not yeah. overly excited. Yeah, well, I feel like if Crisis, if John Diggle becomes Green Lantern. <laughs> I am excited. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. I am done. Yeah, I yeah. mean, we, we've speculated quite a bit that they might be trying to merge the universes together into one coherent yeah. show, which would be cool if they It'll do definitely that. make it better yeah. in the future. So. so, and I'm obviously with Arrow ending and Flash potentially uh, disappearing. disappearing in the crisis, who knows where they're going to go with it. Yeah. So, I'm, there's enough of a mystery set up and enough of the off end season. I'm quite looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see well, after Crisis is done and all the seasons, fi- it'll be interesting to see where all the f- seasons finish up. Mm. Yeah. And then what the hell are they going to do for the season afterwards? Because yeah, yeah. like, the crossover will, won't never be as big as this one. Oh no! So we were sort of discussing in a couple of reactions that it could be like World's Finest and just have like a Supergirl Batwoman yeah. Yeah, crossover, like- and maybe the Flash is there as well. Mm-hmm. And um, who else would still be in it? Uh, Legends is finishing, isn't it? So maybe Black Lightning could yeah. show up and. This new Canary show. Well, canary, but I don't know that. if that's set in the future yeah, or the present. I'm not, yeah. I'm not too sure I'm about, that one, yeah. about that one. So it's gonna be interesting to see where that where that part is. But yeah, but no, yeah, I say we're excited. Man. We we I mean we we watch these shows. I say Arrows on season eight, so at least eight years mm-hmm. dedicating mm-hmm. our time to watching all these TV shows. So I don't I mean, yeah until they cancel them, and I hope to be fair, like Arrow, they're doing this year with Arrow. I hope when they decide to cancel them that they know they're going to be cancelled, so they can do one last amazing mm-hmm. season because the first episode of Arrow was just mm. insane yeah. so if they can keep if they did that for like Flash was like right we've got one more season to do let's just make build it, it up to this let's moment. make it a freaking yeah. good one and I, like, they rather than it's like finishes on a season they go oh we're not going to renew it yeah. and it'd be, you, know, that'd be you a, never know what happens that'd be a real shame so yeah yeah, yeah. yeah thank you for your question Thanos please don't and snap or snap snap <laughs> well, you know if you do snap us <clears> it takes you yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm on the size of two people yeah. so that's why <laughs> Evens it out, right? All right. What, what does that one say? Which one? R- one. Top one. Rafi. Rafieski. Rafieski. Good yeah. one. Okay, cool. So we got we got a we got a, two, a choice for just here, boys. So we've got DC Universe shows. So that's Titans, Swamp Thing, Doom Patrol, Star Girl, mm-hmm. or CW shows: Flash, Batwoman, Arrow, Legends, Supergirl. Well, pick you choose two. one. Oh, for God's sake! What would you have? So this is this is where this problem because this, the type the, for me the DC Universe shows are really mm. well written in that they have all the comic book continuity behind them without the fear of mm. not having to use any of it uh, and they were a bit more compressed so they've got more potential stories. Yeah. The CW shows are fun. <laughs> and I really they've like, also been around longer, long, so you know yeah. their history more yeah. than the old than the new ones. Yeah. <sighs> God damn it. <clears throat> Jury, I think where the jury's out. one. I mean, yeah. uh, God. <sighs> I, th- I think I'd have to be the DC Universe just because it's f- completely strong yeah where, where the CW has had some weak seasons yeah, and, and some weak episodes weak shows as well that's a, yeah. yeah but it's tough it's yeah. close yeah I agree I'd agree. probably go C- DC, DC Universe. Universe as well cause, just because I love Titans and Doom Patrol mm. and I want to see what Stargirl's like as well because I reckon that's going to be a great show mm. but yeah that is a tough one you sneaky man <laughs> it's a very tough question I do not like it but yeah <laughs> Cool. Uh, so next one we got. Uh, give me a sec. Lara Struttlegins. Good enough. Struttlegins. Struttlegins. Yeah. 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 People be putting normal names on them. So much. <laughs> Lara Struttlegins. <laughs> Can you maybe do a tour of all your collectibles? Your background always looks so nice. Oh, you need the collectibles here. No <laughs> collectibles here. Hey, not to worry. Yeah. Because <laughs> you're always in the background, bro. <laughs> you're on limited edition. Uh, <laughs> I'll, t- oh, I'll tell you what, Lara. Cut to montage.
And we're back. I hope you guys all enjoyed the lovely tour of the collectibles. <laughs> Just don't ask how much they cost or whether or not Ross wants to do something more. Just so we find out the address and uh, bring it to his house because yeah. it's lovely. <laughs> so, so thank you for your question, Laura. But, you know, this is a very nice collection. I mean, I love it. Um, okay, cool. So we've got a oh, friend of the show, friend, personal friend as well, Micro Box of X. Well, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. We love you really, Chris. Don't worry. Go and check out his, 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 uh, his, YouTube, his channel. YouTube channel. It's great. Especially if you're an Xbox fan, because he's yeah. all about that. Yeah, he does. Yeah. He, really, he really does a good job. Um, so he goes, where can I get a T-shirt with your lovely smiles on, <laughs> on the front? I've got these fine ones I'm selling for about a grand a piece. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. So yeah, so it's something we talked spoke about doing just literally yeah, for yeah. going to Comic Con to pr- promote mm, the uh, yeah. promote the channel. We were going to do a couple of T-shirts. With our little like logo on it, mm. to, um, to we never we've never actually got around to doing it. So maybe when we get us or maybe a bit bigger, if there's any demand that anyone wants any t-shirts, we can try and maybe put up a little shop yeah. on our website, which is currently why being made. People want to walk around with my face on their chest because <laughs> <laughs> they're goddamn awesome. That's why. <laughs> Imagine. Well, who are these guys? Just in case they forget their science teacher. <laughs> 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 you might give us your teacher anywhere. <laughs> what you got a big show in top? <laughs> oh, brilliant. Then we got Sarah for Blind Wave. Oh, wait. <laughs> uh, but yes, no, yeah, something we're thinking about doing. I mean, we are in the process of building our website at the moment. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it may add a little shop on there in the future. So yeah, thank you very much, Chris, for your awesome question. Mm-hmm. Speak to you later on Xbox. <laughs> Uh, and then we got Mark hey, f- normal name <laughs> Mark Hayden <laughs> the normal name <laughs> oh it's a difficult question though man who are your favourite DC characters DC characters oh, it's man. plural so I was going to just right, say well, one. I'll start with the obvious you'll like do three oh, Batman's my favourite uh, outright for DC yeah, yeah I think he's I think one, of he's, one of the, he's the first hero I started reading in comics yeah back in many many years back in the day and he stuck with me all the way throughout mm. so. I, I, l- I just love reading mm. comics where they're based in Gotham. Yeah, I don't know. There's something about just like when it's a dark night or it's pissing down with rain, mm. standing on a rooftop talking to Robin about what they're gonna do. I, just, I love that. But like when you have like something where it's like nice and sunny, it's uh, I don't know. It's still good, but I just prefer mm. Gotham as a setting. <clears throat> don't know about you, but I grow. I mean, the the bat the bat family part of the DC is my favourite, only because from a kid it's been the '89 movie, then the '92. The uh, Batman the Animated Series is still I still watch it today. I bought the Blu-ray. Mm. I was watching it yesterday. So um, <laughs> yeah, still one of my favorite shows ever. I'd probably say favorite character is surprisingly actually not Batman. It might actually be Dick Grayson, not Nightwing. Yeah. Mm. Well, wh- whatever, 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 like Four whatever in. thing, whatever, yeah. whatever comic. If if Dick Grayson's if like he's Robin in a comic or he's Nightwing or he's like just Grayson. Um, whenever I read one of those comics, I don't know if I relate to him more. I don't know what it is, but I just I he's always been. My favourite, and if we were ever like, I don't know, when I was a kid, we had mates around and be like, oh, let's play, play with all the toys. I'd always want to be Robin rather than Batman, but that's just my thing. But it's definitely the Batman part yeah. of the DC is amazing. I mean, I love Green Lantern as well, like mm. the Green Lantern comics. But if you could Jones. be any superhero, I'd yeah, be Superman. Of course you would. Yeah. Hands down. Because he has all the powers. <laughs> yeah. And the Kryptonite doesn't exist, so yeah, 100% would be, yeah. So you, would, you, would, magic. you wouldn't be pick, you wouldn't pick Batman. I know. But no, he's no. the coolest to read. I think that's maybe because he's like, but a lot of people said it many, many times. He's the sort of like because he's human, mm. you can relate, relate to him to more, him. and like you know, having all the money, yeah, 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 yeah definitely relate to that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I can dream about it. <laughs> <laughs> all the money, <laughs> all the hot toys I could get with all that money, <laughs> yes, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I think, I think, and I think that's probably why we enjoy like we've read to Gotham, maybe it's why we're enjoying Batwoman more and than maybe more, most. maybe more of the DC shows in general because we, we're more familiar with the DC universe than Marvel, um, yes, yeah. At least when I started reading comics, it's the especially growing up, there wasn't yeah. that much Marvel mm. around. <laughs> No, we had yeah, like the yeah, X Men TV show and the yeah, Spider Man TV yeah. show. Was probably mm. my two. That was it because really. yeah, like, those three cartoons of the Batman's X Men Spider Man were the things I used to watch every mm. Saturday morning at which all times. So that's they're the, they're the comics I used to collect as a kid, and I only recently only got into like, a, like it's weird because like, the Avengers were like C list characters until the movies came out, and then the movies have come out. I think I've gone to see the movies because mm. they're more relatable to like the kids and everything. So mm. yeah, but definitely yeah, DC characters. Batman is up there for me, and Green Lantern for my two favourites. Carl Rayner, uh, Green Lantern. Yes, referring, back to, referring back to the previous question, we could always maybe do some extra content. Um, talk about our inspirations and our yeah, yeah, of friends. course, yeah. I mean, we could even like do. I mean, we did um, like a, a movie review of um, Hush. I know mm-hmm. we're going to try and do the Wonder Woman one as well. Bloodlines. Yeah. Bloodlines. We maybe even go back and watch some of the other the animated. Do t- watch um, along. We can put it on our Patreon. Mm-hmm. And come see it. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or even just yeah, have a little. <laughs> Of like top five comic books and stuff like that, we mm. can go through. Yeah, definitely, it's a good idea. 
Write that one down. <laughs> <All right. laughs> uh, then we got Techno, Techno Legends. Oh, he's another legend. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice to have another legend on board. <laughs> Um, he goes. Do you guys play football? or Have you played Sunday League? How could you? How good were you guys? Okay. Um, well, I'll, I am legendarily awful at football. I'm more of a rugby man. <laughs> you ever seen that advert of the John Smiths with um, Peter Kay in it, where he yeah, yeah, boots it? <laughs> that was you. That was me. Um, <laughs> oh man, uh, we have to play a clip of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, I'm. I've oh. always been. More of a target sportsman, bow hunting, uh, bow hunting, bow shooting, uh, archery, target sports, and also um, rugby, rugby, massive rugby. Fan. Yep, and you do a lot of running as yep. well, don't you? Yeah. Mm. I don't know if you cast running as something I enjoy, it's something I do. It's not underneath, but when you do, it's fine. You like mud I mean, I know you enjoy it, you do like half marathons and yeah, mud runs, man. I mean, yeah. if you don't enjoy it, you would stop signing up for it. <laughs> Jesus. You can do that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you don't have to do yeah. it. Somebody else is just signing you up. <laughs> Sending you in. Go to this, Rob. I mean, it's optional. What the fuck? Yeah. I thought it was part of my work. Yeah. Um, Russ? Me? I haven't played football. I used to play it every day after school with my friends. But were you any good at it? I was pretty good. Yeah, it wasn't bad. But I, I never I, never played for any team or anything. I remember you at school, you were pretty good. But no. Yeah, I no. played it for like, when did we leave school? What? A long time ago. 19 years ago? Something like that. Oh, I don't think I, I mean, yeah. I used to be pretty good in goal. I used to be skinny when I was little, but I used to be pretty good in goal. Um, no, I, I I was awful at football. I played basketball quite a lot. I played for like a after yeah, school, uh, um, only because I was like this tall when I was like fifteen. I haven't grown since, <laughs> just outwards. Um, but yeah, I used to play basketball quite a lot until I was like seventeen, eighteen, and then found like alcohol and smoking and stuff. And then just that went out the window as well. <laughs> um, <laughs> Wasn't any good at that either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, but I mean, like my, I, I play on, I play on the weekend with the, with the kids if they want. Um, like my my eldest Lois is in a girls' football team, and I go. And that's, watch. A, that's a rather interesting name. Yeah. <laughs> <Why not? laughs> so Lois, Lois, yeah, and then the main one's called uh, Lexis, <laughs> or, you can, or what we call her is Lex. Yeah. <laughs> that's the evil one. One day I'm gonna have a boy, and he's gonna be called Cluck. Yeah. I don't care what Grace is. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, my yeah, my yeah, oldest plays um, yeah plays Sunday league, mm. and so yeah, it's, yeah, to watch it every. Every week, but yeah, never get to play it properly. So yeah, no, sadly not, guys. Um, we don't, we don't play. That also means we won't be doing the Legends Five Aside anytime soon. Either, so that's, <laughs> I mean, well, yeah. three aside. Three aside. <laughs> you could get playing as a blind wave. <laughs> Bring them over to like an international uh-huh. football match. He you know, just watch all of us. I don't know if they're really. I'm not <laughs> discouraging their abilities. Just watch us flail around the pitch for ten minutes, <laughs> failing to score anything. Exactly. Be awesome. <laughs> You'd be like, time, time out! <laughs> You've done one run, time out! <laughs> I'm yeah. swapping it to go! Yeah. Just play FIFA on the Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah, I play, play a lot of FIFA, that's always good. Um, okay, we've got. Oh, damn it, stupid names. Sai. Your name's not stupid, he's just stupid. Yeah, I know, yeah. Sai. Uh, C- something tube. What does that say? Salem Tube? Sayam. It'll be up on the screen in a minute. <laughs> yeah, Sayam Tube. Okay, so what are your top 10 Batman villains? And also, what top are your Jesus. opinions on regards to Batman no, no, no killing. killing? Do you think he should should or shouldn't kill? Love your actions, guys. Thank you very much. We love you too. Um, top, top 10. 10. I don't know if you do top 10. Maybe pick your top one, I'll top one each, maybe. No, I can pick oh. my top 10. Yeah? Oh, there's so many villains. Calendar Man. <laughs> Condiment King. Condiment King. <laughs> Always. These guys are idiots. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you got to go for the you got to go for the, like the big Joker, Harley. Yeah, the big yeah. ones. I, I'd cast my Catwoman as a bad guy. Yeah, Hugo Strange, I like. Rachel Gore, I like. Riddler, Two Face. Um... No, you like Mad Hat. I'm not particularly. No, no, no. I just, no, I just saying like. Oh, time, take time. Yeah. Uh, Poison Ivy. Nice. Yeah. Uh... Who else is at the top? I've always liked Mr. Freeze. Yeah, Mr. Freeze. Especially after they did the Heart uh, of Ice in the animated series. Yes. Gave them a backstory best, that was best, a yeah, yeah. Which, yeah. again, on the animated C, uh, show special features, I didn't realise that that the yeah. origin was made in that show. Same as Hardy Quinn was. And Scarecrow. Oh, like Scarecrow, yes. Yeah, yeah. So I'd probably say them. Mm. Maybe take a couple out. Some of my favourites that you didn't mention there is like, I love Riddler is my favourite. I know you mentioned yeah, it, but yeah. he's, he's my favourite. Mm. I love the Mad Hatter from Gotham. I think he in Gotham he's, yeah, he yeah, was the best bad great, guy actually. in the whole. We took of, him a bit more seriously. Yeah, in every single season of Gotham, that he's been my favourite bad guy. I, I like him in the animated series as well, but he's a bit more goofy. But like the yeah, the one in they could hypnotise people stuff. I love Clayface. 
I would love to see Clayface in a movie, but he's just he'd just be all CGI, so it'd be like really weird. Man Bat, I like the story of him as well. Mm-hmm. Um, I personally love Hush. Hush, yeah, 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 of course, yeah. And they yeah. brought him in in the story. Nice. Conversation seems great. Yeah, yeah. and I, I've got to say, is you know, as much as we were laughing at the start, I do like some of the campy villains from the Golden Age era, the like Condiment King and Calendar, Calendar Man. It's yeah. like <laughs> Kite Man, Kite, Kite, Kite Man. Man, Tiger Man, Kite Man. What's the worst one? Kite um, Man, the only villain who can be defeated by a gust of strong wind. Yeah. What's the one from the '66 show? Um, who's like King King Tut? Yeah. Egg, egghead, 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 yeah. egghead. <laughs> oh god, oh great shit, great. That's some of those bad guys. Great, yeah, but yeah. There's, there's some weird stuff out there. But yeah, I mean, you know, most I mean, most of the top tens are always going to be the the top big. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, most of the movies, they're, they're good. Yeah, 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 they're very. Good. I mean, I'm looking forward to the new Batman film with having the Riddler in. I it sounds like there's going to be quite a few villains. Mm. So yeah, I, I want to see. What the, I want to see the Riddler's going to be like. I said I'd love to have a Man Bat or Clayface in a movie, but. <laughs> It'd be very difficult. To, it'd be all CGI, so it's going to be. Well, no, because he can. The good thing about him is he can manipulate to look like other people. Yeah, but like, but when he's actually Clayface. Yeah, I know, but he'd only, that'd only be. That's not really difficult from that. Yeah, like some like yeah. cool fight scene with it. Like, yeah, that's yeah. the same. But some of the greatest like enemy series cartoon. I, I'm going to keep going about this. <laughs> Those episodes are like, some of my yeah, favorites. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, and also about the uh, Batman No Killing Rule. Yep, no, you should We're going to have, have an argument on this one. No, we're not going to do this. This is a piece of content Stu and I can put out for you down the line if you want to see I it. Feel it's like, our argument over BVS. Yeah. I feel like he shouldn't <laughs> have a completely no kill. Mm. I don't mind him if he, if somebody throws like a grenade at him and he swipes it back because he's got, I don't know, like a mm. civilian in his hand and he accidentally kills that guy. But see, that, that's, that's good. I don't mind that. That accidental that killing or unavoidable death in the course of what he's doing is good because it lends into some good stories where yes. the DCP might have hunt him down because they think his collateral yeah. damage is too high. Like that. I do believe he shouldn't kill. <clears throat> but if he, if he shouldn't actively try to go out and murder somebody. No, yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah, I agree yeah. with that. But I also feel like there should be... He should... I don't know how you do it, but like if he did kill a little bit... Mm. It would also make the bad guys scared of him more, because like if you've been in Gotham for twenty years, mm. and like the worst thing that's ever happened is Dave has broken his arm, why would you be scared of him? I feel like you have to have that little bit of no, and maybe you know, in the Arkham games, for instance, he's always there breaking like you know he'll literally bend your own, break your leg break your eye, leg and your arm, yeah, and then cripple you. Yeah, I feel yeah. like he should maybe go that far just to put the fear. Yeah. In the criminals, <coughs> but definitely like, you know, he didn't just grab somebody, bring them to the top of the roof, and just let go of it. Yeah, just, just bring out a gun and just be like, yeah, yeah. you're all dead, or break yeah. necks or anything. No, I, yeah, I don't think yeah. I don't think you should be doing that. But yeah, I, I sort of agree that the, the it's no like go, a very it's, like, it's one of the things that Dark Knight sort of brought up yeah. quite well. When he's just like when he, when that um a gang boss and he like drops him off the thing goes it's all really goes we're not scared of you because we know your rules and stuff yeah. I could see, yeah. yeah yeah but then the, the point of that is, is that's what the great thing about that film is when he pulls Joker up at the end and Joker's like well you are incorruptible I can't yeah. make you go yes. against your yeah, yeah. code because yeah. you, you won't kill because you are too good yeah. Yeah. So that's what I love about the Joker yeah. is he does it in the comics one, especially in that Dark Knight films very well is that the whole point of the Joker is he wants Batman to kill him mm. so he'll break his one rule yeah. so he's going to piss him off so, so much him yeah. in the so he like, yeah. like cripples Barbara kills Robin mm. There's all this stuff to try. Like, come on, look what I'm doing. Kill me, yeah. mm. and then you'll break the one rule. That, that's one of the best things yeah, about the Joker definitely. for me. So yeah, it's a great question, man. Thank you very much. <laughs> not not going to start an argument on that. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's just, no. Um, who's next? Ali Walla? Wally? Ali Wally? Yeah. Ali Wally. Uh, my favourite show is Gotham, and I've seen all your guys' reactions. Thank you very much. Love um, Gotham. Yeah, love. Yeah. Um, my question is to you guys, what is your top five Gotham characters? Keep up the great work. Thank <laughs> you very much, dude. Oh. Gotham characters. Oh, I have to say uh, Jim Gordon. Yes? Yeah. I love what they did with him over the course of the five seasons. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So. I don't think he's in my top five. I like him. I know, I know, I know. I know, I know my top characters. <clears throat> the same no, I think my second is your favourite. Alfred, mine's Alfred. Yes, he's my second favorite. Yeah, yeah. Like Alfred's great. And like I said, Joe my favorite is Harvey Bullock. I really like. Oh him. yeah, yeah okay. Harvey Bullock's good as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I love Riddler. Yeah, Riddler. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I played Riddler. I mean, I'd say uh, although I'm looking forward to seeing I was in Port. What's his name? The guy who's playing Riddler in the movie. Paul Dano. Paul Dano. I'm looking forward to see what they do with him. I, I mean, it'd be hard to top the guy who did mm. Riddler in um, mm. in Gotham. He was great. Depends on the story, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. And obviously, Joe's Tetch, as I've said already, Mad Hatter. I thought was was freaking fantastic. My, my f- if, you're, if if I was going Harvey Bullock, Alfred, um, Riddler, my fourth would have to be Hugo Strange. I thought Hugo Strange oh, had got oh, through. Yeah, he was so <laughs> good, man. Every scene oh, he was in, yeah, 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 yeah. I can see that. Nice. Yeah. I probably it'd probably be between Bruce and Selina would be my fear. Yeah, yeah, I'd like, yeah. yeah. Bruce is good as well. Yeah. One of them two. Good point. 
Yeah, it's good. Mm. Ping. Nice. Yeah, it's just, I, mean, I do miss. I do miss that show. It was, yeah. it was great. It could have gone on for so much longer. Yeah. <clears throat> um, but yeah. Mm. Great question. Yeah, very cool. Thank you very much, man. Uh, and we've got Vishesh Lal. Lal? Yeah. Vishesh Lal. That dude. Yeah. Your favourite season of Arrow and Flash. Ooh, oh, that's oh. easy. Yeah. Oh, really? Two. Yeah. Two. two of Arrow. Two of Arrow. Yeah. It's a Deathstroke. Yeah. First one of Flash. First one of Flash. Yeah. Because of yeah. Reverse Flash. Flash. Uh, also, because I'm a massive Deathstroke fan. <laughs> so that's uh, <clears throat> for season two. <clears throat> I think episode. Season one would probably be my second favourite of Arrow, followed by five. It's five, the one with um, Prometheus. 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 Yeah, where they sort of <clears throat> tied up the whole island thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I quite like. Mm. I haven't seen two in so long. I don't remember two being awesome. I really liked five. Five was like. Yeah, five was good. One of my yeah. favourites. But mm. two, I think two, because I think for a lot of it, you didn't know Deathstroke was in it. Mm. It's only because he turned up at the house with Moira and Thea, and you're like, yeah. wait a minute. Yeah. No, no, no. Doesn't <clears throat> somebody go back to his office? <laughs> And like the very end of an episode, like episode 11 or 12 or something, and then you're like, I did everything you asked, and it turns around and, and it's got like sitting there, yeah. and you're like, holy hell, he didn't die. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. Yeah. 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 Let's go back and watch okay, it. Okay, what about, what about adding, he hasn't asked this, but I'm just adding in a question. What about the worst season? The one each? with. Um, four of Arrow. Is it four? The one with the magic? Yeah, with yeah, yeah, yeah. Damien Dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That season. Yeah, that one. Great. Which is a shame because it's his best costume as well. Yeah, I know. <sighs> yeah, with a sleeve, sleeveless. Yeah, sleeveless, yeah. Well, yeah, okay. And uh, Flash? Um, Flash? What was the. Not, um, who was the third season's villain? Savitar. Savitar. When the fourth was mine? It was Thinker. 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 One of those two. Yeah, probably Thinkers. Yeah. It's interesting because everyone, win- everyone whinged for so long. Oh, why do you got another speed? Why did they do the Thinker and everyone hated it? Yeah. That's because they, they went they built up the Thinker quite well and then by the end of the season you haven't gone anywhere. <laughs> it's just... Yeah, yeah. true. <clears throat> yeah, okay, I agree. Okay, so we've got Jack the Ripper. When they eventually do the Red Hood storyline, I think he means he's talking about Titans, do you think they should get he should get his own show? There's like multiple questions in this one. Ooh. Start with that one. Um, if it's uh, Jason, is it Jason Curran? The guy's playing Jason yes. Todd. Yeah. He's doing a really good job of making yeah. Jason seem like a torn character. So yes, if, if he could hold his up his own show, that would. Oh. Yeah, because it, it, it's interesting. It'd be more like a Punisher series, wouldn't it? Yeah. And if you've seen the Punisher Netflix show, they did yes. quite a good job of that. Yeah. So. Hmm. Um. I suppose it depends if they did it. Was it a setup before he then come back to Batman? Mm. Or like season two is when he finally gets back to Gotham. After he's like resurrected, and you just see his hatred build up, and yeah. um, I don't know, it could work. And then they could eventually redeem him into a vigilante or anti-hero like he does yeah. in the comics, or keep him as a villain. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't yeah. say no. They have to do it right, I think. Yeah, yeah. Say do it right. Yeah. Do, yeah, that's be, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. He kills Damien. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, then his second question is: What do you think of Batwoman's combat? In brackets, I think it, it still needs some work. I haven't seen much in the way of Yeah, she hasn't done a lot, really. done a lot of it. Yeah, so the last, the last episode, episode three, is probably the one the time she sort of fought, I guess, mm. properly. And she, I mean, I thought she could have been able to take Tommy Elliot down a bit easier than she did. Then you don't, you don't know if he's trained. I don't think he's hushed yet, but I don't know if he's trained at all. But mm. you think she's done five years training, plus she did the military academy before that. Mm. She should be able to take down some street thugs and him pretty mm. easily. So, well, to be fair, she's only really put the costume on in the last <coughs> episode. Yeah, exactly. So I'm committed to being bad. I mean, if so. you look at if you look at um, the crossover, she was like she took down Arrow. Yeah, she was not better in that, wasn't she? Yeah. yeah. So I mean, maybe it's a steady progression. I'm kind of I'm glad she's not like. I put that suit in. I'm freaking awesome now. Yeah. I can, I'm glad that it's going to be some build up to it. Yeah. But, yeah, but yeah, I mean, we'll see how it goes. But now she's got her suit. Mm. In the next few episodes, what actually happens? Yeah. And then, oh, it's an interesting one for his third question. Where were you on Thanos's side, or not? What during in, during in, Endgame? In, Endgame in, in, yeah, well, I suppose during the entire Marvel universe. I suppose. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Were you on Thanos's no, side? No, because this is a question that's got thrown around quite a bit after the film came out. And everyone got a little weird about it. Um, he thought he was doing the right thing yeah. by trying to save the universe, but he did it in such a reprehensible way, there's no way you can back him. Mm. So for me, I'm not on his side, but I can to- they did enough- you can see it. They did enough work with the character in the plot yeah. that you can see why he came to the conclusion he did. Yeah. And that is That's a good why he was a good villain, yeah. yeah. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. I agree with him. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty as well. Yeah, you can't, you can't condone what he did. No. No. The but way you can he understand did it. why yeah, he understand, you understand what his, his reasoning his behind reasoning it because of, of, of his planet got screwed up and every planet he's gone to since. Mm. I think maybe if he. What did someone say to me the other day about how easy, e- a much easier way to fix it could have been? Is like. Like. Taking some of the population off the planet and moving them somewhere else or just like. 
Mm. Yeah, not killing half of them is like a bit much. Like, it was, mm. it if he'd have used the gauntlet to duplicate every planet, yeah, yeah. And split them across. Yeah, that's what they said. That's what, oh, that's what he said. Yeah, he said he said make more, more, make more, double the resources for everyone. Yeah. Oh no, we're all okay now. Yeah. Like that, do something like that, or make the planet double the size or something like that. that yeah. That's the best way to defeat the Avengers. They're all geared up to go and kick his ass. He's like, I'm now Space Jesus. What are you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's just like, exactly. Oh, damn it, crucify him! Wow, wow. I'm gonna get you a job in Hollywood. You're all gonna write some awesome yeah. rules. <laughs> oh, well, well, you should say that. Is a great question. Um, yeah, thank you for the question, Jack the Ripper. Um, <coughs> next question. Oh my God, Psydox. Sarsanax. Sarsanax. Okay. Um, Don't want my quite fat. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, love, oh, I used to love those games. What do you guys want to be turned into a live action movie or DC? From DC, mm-hmm. either from the comic books or animated movies. I've got another question as well. Oh. I'll wait for that. What would you like to see? Any storyline? I'd like to be turned into a live action movie. movie. Okay, mm. I, um, going back to Mr. Freeze, I could you could bring that, uh, just putting Arnold Schwarzenegger out of your mind for a second. <laughs> <laughs> With the CGI the advances they've made in today's day and mm. age, you could definitely bring a Mr. Freeze. Yeah, storyline. Story yeah, yeah. He's a villain that's very underused in a lot of the yeah. material. So. He's, he's, quite, he's, you know, he's not, not, not like he's like fans, but he's got a lot of empathy because he actually has a. He's, yeah. he's actually trying to do trying to save his save wife, his wife yeah. which is like a good thing to do, but he's just going about it in the wrong way. Yeah, yeah, yeah I can patient, isn't he? Really? Mm. I mean, it's just, just, I just, just want, I just want like just Green Lantern, man. <laughs> I, I, we go on about it so much, got but half decent Green Lantern. If only, I mean, I, I'm, I'm hoping people have got past how, like the Ryan Reynolds like, movie. Warner Brothers haven't. <laughs> yeah, obviously, <laughs> like, but. And to be fair, the first half an hour of that film isn't that bad. It's just the rest of it is just. But if they could, they could take like the Sinestro Wars, they could take. I mean, they could take. Blo- I mean, so like, annoying because mm. Mark Strong as Sinestro was amazing. It was great, and the yeah. training sequence on Oa was mm. really. Well it's done until as well. until he decides to leave Oa and go back to Earth is when it goes downhill. Yeah. All the way up to that, it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, so but yeah, but like, just a Green Green Lantern show. Like we've spoken about, like when, when Krypton was on, doing a Green Lantern TV show mm. would be great. Just set in space. Having like following John Stewart or Carl Rayner or whoever it's going to be, mm. doing missions in space like patrolling like a policeman. I'd love a hero quest one, you know, where Carl Rayner becomes. Yeah, but you'd have to. You feel like you'd have to set up before all of that, so when it goes, yeah, you understand exactly. It. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of build up for that. Uh, yeah, but like, yeah, having like Sinesh, like the Sinesh Cool War is one of my favourite ones. That'd be cool, like, but that'd be a massive just war. Grounding mm-hmm. it a bit more in the real world, we were, we were like Gotham. Yeah, there was a series of comics called Streets of Gotham. I think it was Streets of Gotham. It sort of came out um, just before the final crisis. <clears throat> yeah, and um, that was set in the GCPD, the Major Crimes Unit, and they were just mm. sort of. They were having to deal with day to day. It'd be like a bit like CSI, one of the cop procedural show. They were dealing with regular crimes in the Gotham, yeah. but then having to deal with that. Oh shit! We've just kicked the door into where you think the suspect is, and Mister Freeze is in there. What the hell do we do? One of our partners is now dead. Great. Mm. <laughs> um, dealing with that yeah, kind of yeah. stuff, and then having to deal with trying to legitimately to stop crimes with Batman, who in that co- really well portrayed in that comic series was just an annoying influence that kept getting in the way and mm. was causing problems for them trying to do the police procedurals. And it'd be a bit like Gotham in tone, I think. Yeah, should be yeah. cool. Yeah, check it out if you haven't seen it. You read it; it's good. I think yeah. if they were to change an animated movie into a live action, mm. I'd love them to do under the Red Hood. Yes, under Red Hood. I was kind of or was, Doom, Justice League Doom. That'd be a cool one. So I was thinking uh, about doing Death of Superman. Mm. The do it properly in a movie. Well, we've Cage already back. had two animated movies. Yeah, but I'm saying live action. Well, I mean, I know Henry Cavill's Henry Cavill's not the Superman anymore, but it's a bit of a shame. I think Nick Cage is still waiting for a call. <sighs> Oh, and kill no. him off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he be Get Sean Bean in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got to wait. He's got to at least die at the hands of Doomsday, not in the first five minutes of the film. Yeah, yeah. but no, but um, so yeah. for Sean Bean crossed he, out he, Superman. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'd like. I mean, like, Under the Red Hood would be great. It's a great storyline. Mm. But I, I'd love to, them to do a proper. You just imagine seeing a like because the CGI on the crypt, um, Krypton TV show of, of Doomsday, mm. Mm. like that, obviously better because it'd be in a movie. Versus Superman for like the first half of the film, and then even have a two parter like do it like in the comic books. He dies at the end of the film mm. again, like in BBS, but actually like properly mm. this time. And then cyborg and everything. It's everyone else comes back. You could yeah. do like that'd be one of the if they. I'd love that to happen in my lifetime that they do that movie because mm. it's like such an iconic yeah. piece of comic book writing. That would be so good. And they say they've done two ver- two tries of it in the anim- animated movies. Mm. The second one was pretty good, but still had like things that. I didn't quite mm. like. As, as, a, as a last point on that, was there a story come out recently about um, maybe it was a bit of trolling, but uh, Batman Beyond maybe becoming a live action film? With yes, Mark that was oh, a bit yeah. of a clickbait. But yeah, yeah Michael Keaton. Bait, but... Yeah, that would be 
Yes, that's yes. what I want to see. Fuck what I just said. Yeah, um, yeah. Batman, Batman Beyond. Beyond. With Michael Keaton as old Bruce. Yes. Yeah. I'd like to see either the guy that plays um, yeah. Bruce in Gotham mm-hmm. or the guy that plays Dick Grayson in Titans to be Terry McGuinness. Nah, yeah. yeah, just yeah, to tie yeah, it in because yeah, I yeah. could see both of them be the characters. Definitely, yeah, yeah, that would be. I mean, oh, they need to. They should do a Batman Beyond movie. That'd be great. Mm. Be so good. Before Michael King, King gets too old to do it. Mm. Lovely. Uh, and the other question was also: mm. Have you guys watched Umbrella Academy? Not yet. No, sadly not. Thinking we, about reacting to it. Yeah, so we've held off. And <coughs> held off watching it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's <coughs> one, of those, one of those ones on the sort of the top. Of I the, have read the, the comics, so I'm quite curious to see how they've adapted it. Mm. Yes. yes. Yeah. So yeah, that's one of the things we're, we're looking to do. So sort of that it's up there with the top three programs yeah. we want to try mm. and watch. Once other things, have, well, they keep releasing too many shows. Yeah. They don't have enough time. Um, so thank you for your question. We then have Mulan. Ah, uh, we've kind of already answered this one, but um, we, uh, do you prefer the? T- Titan verse or the Arrow verse? Yeah, so yeah, Titan verse. Yeah, only so, just that. Yeah, very close. But yeah, so thank you for your question, Mulan. Then we've got God, man, this great. The 155 Master is such a, so greedy. He's got so many questions. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, what made you guys want to create this channel and do reactions? Oh, we talked about that. Um, so yeah, I think <clears> yeah. We sort of, sort of summarized quickly. Yeah, we sort of just always talked about it online. Like, all well, when we were doing archery, you and me were always oh, we would love to do it, but we never found a time to. Yeah dig in yeah then when we started the podcast I remember walking home one day thinking oh my god Krypton starts soon when if we can start then because it was like you know Arrow's already started yeah. Flash where do we start yeah and then I was I played around with a bit a few bits of software hardware and I thought I can get this done and I bought the mic mm. and then I asked you to come over and I said oh let's test out because I didn't know where mm. it would work and everything and yeah we, we, watched, we did like a couple of evenings of testing didn't we yeah stuff. it was like Black Lightning, an episode of Black Lightning we watched. Yes. Yeah. And then I just did, we, we kept moving the mic around, seeing where it would work. Yeah, and the camera and stuff. Yeah, and then the we didn't have the lights, I don't think, at the time. Nope. And then I was like, okay, we got this, and now I'd fiddle around a bit more, and then I was like, right, let's get all three of us in. And we watched the first episode, season two of Jessica Jones. Yes. And <clears> then I was like, yeah, I think we're quite happy now. And then that was like a week before Krypton, Krypton came yeah, out, and we said, right, let's, yeah. let's do it. Yeah. So that's yeah, we've been doing it ever since. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and just sort of just like flew from there, didn't yeah. it? We sort of just so it's just it's just nice sort of sitting together watching the TV programs because what we used to do is just watch it separately and then come back and be like, oh, that was really yeah. cool doing this bit. Like now we get yeah. to just talk about yeah. it as we do it and just yeah, yeah, film at the same time. So, um, so his next question is favorite shows other than DC shows. Other than oh, the current ones, DC, yes. DC shows. So, I mean, like, well, as Agents of Shield. Uh, mm. So I would have said Smallville. Smallville. Well, yeah, the <laughs> I mean, other shows. Mm. I loved 24 when that was on. I used to love that show. I yep. grew up with the fifth Doctor um, and loved the old Doctor Who. Kind of got into the new Doctor Who in about season three when David Tennant was still in it because I was a bit like, ooh, new Doctor Who. Uh, yeah. I, I kind of like it and it's gone downhill again now. But no, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I started watching it at the end of David Tennant and then Matt Smith yeah. was when I really got into it because he's probably my, one of my favourites. And then, yeah, um, Peter Capaldi, yeah. And I liked him. And then I they got. He's just not Matt Smith for me. The, but, yeah, the, new, but then, the new season isn't. isn't yeah, and then I, I mean, I watch random things that I watch with my wife, Grey's Anatomy. So, like, mm. things like Supergirl does loads of references to that, mm. which I totally get. <laughs> yeah, we watch, I think there's like season 16 or something now. It's crazy. Um, we used to watch Castle, that was quite cool. <laughs> I enjoyed um, Daredevil. I think yep. that was a great show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Daredevil and, like, the. Um, I didn't mind, like, Punisher was good as well. I enjoy Punisher. I was kind of enjoying non superhero shoes now. Enjoying Iron Fist quite a bit because he's one of my favourite characters. Um, yes, yeah, yeah. Mm. And then like random things are like shows that just like so like task like things that probably only the UK people would know, but like Taskmaster. I <laughs> freaking love watching Taskmaster. You like Castle as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Castle. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I'd say the cast does countdown. Oh yeah, uh, it's it's amazing. English mock, English panel, comedy panel shows. Yeah, mock the week. I mean, like all these shows. Practical Jokers. Yeah, I've been to see been to see them twice um in in concert as well. So they do like a live stand up show. I enjoyed the first season of. Lost and Heroes. Yeah, then I gave and then up after that, it, so. that was that was kind of the era of the mystery show, wasn't it? Mm. When Lost announced that, and I, I got into. I think it that quite was a few. both of them as well. Got into that writers' strike, strike where like season two both were like really short and didn't really yeah. make sense. So yeah, I stopped watching those. Yeah, yeah, no, quite a few. Yes, yes. Mm. Yeah. Nice, good question. Mm. Very good question. Um, we've got top three comic books. All favorite Ooh. comic books. I mean, Hush. Yeah, Death of Superman. Death of Superman. There's a, I wouldn't call it obscure anymore, but there was a, uh, the original comic origin of the century in the Marvel Universe. 
um, mm. centuries of Superman type character. Yes, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. The original six issue miniseries, which you can find it before they went nuts with his character and ruined him, is an absolutely fantastic piece on mental health and yeah. the overuse of power and the way they build up the character. And the meta game that came around that as well, with them Stanley announcing that one of his former kids and partners had died and they found an unused sketch from the 60s. Yes. And they were. Wow. Yeah. This character, in the comics, the character's been around since the start, but everyone's just forgotten about him. But in the actual outside universe, it's. They invented him along the same time as Fantastic Four. It's, it was brilliant build-up. He got everyone talking about it for months, and the six-issue miniseries of the century is fantastic. And then Marvel did what Marvel does with <laughs> new characters and just overused him. Just yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I, I remember a lot of comic books I read have got him in it. Yeah. Um, that's what I was going to say. Like Blackest Night. Hmm? I love that. Mm. That was what, probably what got me back into comics. I stopped for a while, and then that got me back into comics. Um, I'm trying to think of non-DC stuff. I'm a big fan of Hellboy and all Mike Mignola stuff. Yes, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. I've got all the all the old Hellboy stories in the back of my comics. Nice, nice, nice. Like yeah. the the Dark Phoenix saga from like X Men. I got the yeah, original, yeah. I got the original one of them. That's really great. The original Clone saga I liked in Spider Man as well. Yeah, I said when I when I, when I started collecting comics when I was like twelve, we used to go with Liam um, to a comic book shop in in town. It was when that Clone saga was started because I remember picking up and being like, Who "The hell is this guy, mm. blonde kid? What the hell's going on?" Yeah, yeah. I'm watching the cartoon go. That's, he's got brownies. He's Peter Parker. Who's this Ben Riley kid? What's going on? <laughs> Just to be more, no idea. More obscure and outside of the mainstream as well. Um, back in the nineties when Wildstorm was still a thing. <laughs> oh <laughs> god, Jesus. No, planetary. <laughs> I mean, the, oh, thing, oh, the thing I love about Wildstorm is Gary Frank. Was it? Yeah, that's about. Um, I was actually talking about Gary Frank. So all the Superman hmm. comic books he's done, and like the Earth, yeah. um, oh. Earth One. Batman ones they were quite good as well as much as a misanthrope as he is Warren Ellis does some good stuff when he's angry and, um, <laughs> Planetary was a great 24 issue limited series set in the Wild Storm universe but completely divorced from that whole, the whole yeah. of it it was just yeah, like yeah. a little thing nice. it's basically like a, a love letter to like the whole of comics industry yeah. <laughs> and, and like, oh Watchmen yeah sorry hang off there Watchmen <laughs> I was thinking of them as I come in that's mm. uh, probably about it. I mean, no, there's been there's loads. There's, there's loads I will, I will keep reading forever. I, I go when I read comic books. I'm very much on. I need to enjoy the artwork to be able to enjoy the comic book. So like something like The Dark Knight Returns, I just can't enjoy it because the artwork just I just don't like it. <laughs> I know it's one of the most epic classic. I like the animated movie because I know it takes bits of it, but it's sort of I can deal with the artwork in that. But the actual drawing in that same as like Long Halloween sort of off putting as well. And there's another one. It's really bad. I think it's like the Arkham, Joker Arkham or something, when it's like it's really... Oh, is that One Night in Arkham or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, I just can't... It's one of Grant Morrison's ones. Yeah, yeah, I just can't answers. read... The, the, the art in that age, I just can't get on with it at all. I'm just looking at it going, no, not enjoying this, mm. not enjoying this at all. Same as like the Iron Man um, Extremis comic book. I can't get on the artwork of that either. So I have to enjoy the artwork to enjoy the story. Mm. It's, it's one of these weird things. We have to there's a, there's a section for you from all this. Yeah, <laughs> not, not really top three, but yeah. Um, and then his last question... Uh, we kind of already answered this but um, yeah, dream DC show you like this one Rob mm -hmm. for example mine would be a combination of Gotham but showing Batman and his adventures from there so you're saying like doing like the Gotham yeah, troll streets, thing streets with, like, Gotham, with like yeah. Batman being there but like not because cool, it's, it's a way of not because Batman's also been overused a little bit recently in TV's comics and everything else yep. Street, uh, uh, Streets of Gotham style procedural show would be a way to be a Batman set show but without him being the central focus yep. yeah yeah, yeah. Okay, yep. Yep. Mm. I'm going to be repeating myself and say Green Lantern I just want, <laughs> I just want Green Lantern show yeah it would be good yeah. Green Lantern show would be amazing so yeah so yeah thank you the 115 master I know he comments a lot on our videos as well so mm. thank you very much for that um, we've got Lil Crave is what's your guys favourite DC movie oh oh Right. Mm -hmm. Let's just go live action. Don't do don't do animated. Okay. That, that, that narrows be... the field a bit. But um, I would have to say Batman Begins for me. Nice. I know exactly what you're going to say. Really? Yeah. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm just thinking through all the new all the new stuff we've had from the DC standard universe and going yeah. all the way back to Superman. You know, the seventy Superman. That's what I was going to say. Russell's gonna yeah, say. I, think, I think that is my favorite. Yeah, like, it's, 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 like you was going to say it's that. a classic. But I think. To me, it got like, me into comics, so yeah, that's why enough, it's yeah. up like the Yeah, we get. Yeah. I think. I think for me, it's eighty nine Batman. It's eighty nine or Return. I prefer Returns mm. for like the look of the suit and the Batmobile and what happens in it. But eighty nine is the thing that got me into Batman, like the Keaton Batman. It's, it's the same thing my, with Begins. I yeah. wasn't. I went into that not expecting anything because I, Joel Schumacher turned me off. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then I was. I, I literally. I was. I was living in Australia at the time. I'd heard nothing about Batman Begins, and then I. Um, I saw it on the cinema. I was like, holy shit! They brought back a film. Mm. I good. was exactly the same for the <laughs> Arkham Asylum game. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was good. I remember you and. Chris. Michael Box of X going, yeah, yeah. oh yeah, this is a new Batman game. It's going to be the same crap as every other Batman game. Yeah. 
And then demo came out and I was like, okay, this is amazing. I remember, I remember <laughs> those Arkham games. Walking so out of that cinema in you know, I was just like, oh wow, that was brilliant. The way they set, it, the way they built that universe up, and they spend all the time building him up as a character rather than just going right, he's Batman, fight people. It's just the, like, um, yeah. I still remember in the cinema just hearing the roar mm. of the tumbler, yeah, and then going on the rooftops and stuff. It's like Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah, yeah, so, um, there's, there's a lot of there's a lot of close seconds for me because there are a lot of, some of the stuff out of DC extended universe has been quite good. Wonder Woman is a favourite. Yes, place. yeah. yeah. Um, no, I quite I like Aquaman. Aquaman, Aquaman, as well, yeah. Aquaman's great. But yeah, so yeah, there Thank we go. That. Um, None of you pick Batman and Robin. There's <laughs> <laughs> a reason. Thing, man. Swamp- <laughs> the original. The Rocketeer. Oh. Rocketeer DC. That's what about Rocketeer. Jonah Hex? No. <laughs> The Rocketeer is a comic uh, book. Oh yeah. my gosh. Z Watchtower Z. Yeah. Okay, that's nice and easy. If you guys could play any character in the Crisis crossover, who would it be? Oh god. Oh. <laughs> Brandon Ralph, Kingdom Come Superman. Oh yeah, that would be definitely high. I want to be an evil, maniacal motherfucker, so I'm going to go in reverse flash. <laughs> I think we're going to be an anti monitor. Yeah, anti monitor. <laughs> oh man. Um, John Diggle. Oh. And if he yeah. becomes Green Lantern, you just want to crush your arms really big, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Cool. Mm-hmm. And you've got a second question as well. Mm-hmm. Is who are your favourite live action characters from all the DC movies and shows? <laughs> I mean, that's a hell of a question. Go with one for each of us, maybe. Um, so, from, favourite live action character. So, from the DC movies. <laughs> do we go talk, we call talking all DC movies again? I guess so, yeah. Well, mine was going to have to be Christopher Reeve Superman. Yeah, it might be Michael Keaton Batman. Uh, to be add a bit of difference in there, I'll go with, I'll go with Wonder Woman. Um, yeah, she, she, nice. That was, that was a. Oh, sorry, you said who would you like to be? No, I'm joking. Yeah. <laughs> My my answer. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen her? I'll be back in ten minutes. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, no, I'll be Margot Margo Robbie Hardy Quinn then. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. Yeah. But no, I mean, you know, that, that was a role that absolutely needs to nail. To oh yeah, yeah, definitely. And that definitely. film is knocked out of the park. Yeah, 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 can't wait for that. Definitely, yeah. definitely, definitely. And then it would be so. so uh, it says DC movies and shows. So from the shows, it's a difficult one. It's too many. I wasn't. You know, when when Arrow first came out and they announced the CW verse coming out of that, uh, Stephen Amell was never. I didn't. I, has he been in anything before that? If he had, I didn't know. Don't but know I think much, it's uh, hard to see anyone else as Arrow now, as Three mm. Arrow. I still want him to be jokey, so... Yeah. There's that one part of him that is quite... I know, he's basically Batman with yes. a hood when he doesn't have that jokey side. Yeah. Um, but from the shows... Oh, uh, okay, it's okay. got to be um, Harvey Bullock from God. <laughs> <laughs> or, or maybe even... Um, uh, oh... What's his name? What show? Him. The uh, Arif- Reverse Flash. No, the actor plays him. Tom, oh, Tom Cavanaugh. Oh, so you get to play everyone. everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Cancel the worlds. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Because he's just got, um, he's such a wide range and he's playing all kinds of awesome characters. Yeah, 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 yeah so. definitely. Definitely. Okay. Uh, next question from The Claw. He's already done this one. Your favourite current comic book character? Yep. Batman, 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 Nightwing? <laughs> yeah. Or yeah. Dick Grayson? Yeah. Sing Jin. Sing Jin. Coin? Kion. Okay, for our reverse, they kept showing us how the crisis seems to end, but you guys think they might be doing this so that they can throw a crazy twist during the crossover. If so, how do you feel they should try and end the crisis crossover as well as Arrow? I mean, the obvious answer is that Ollie takes his place, right? That's what we think is going to happen, but... Hmm. What other twist going to be? Well, he's going to Or the other one that you kept saying that I love is that the reverse Flash is that arrogant he's going to take Flash's place mm. and be like I'm going to save the universe Flash go I'll away I'll be the hero let me be the hero yeah. yeah I mean Jesus that'd be I feel like Arrow's only going to make up going to die whatever it is because what he did in Elseworlds isn't it because yeah. he saved Barry and Kara then yeah um, so but then when the monitor took him at the end of last season he said what does the multiverse require of me and the monitor answered whatever and he said oh no yeah, whatever I'll do, whatever it takes. Yeah. So if that means dying at some point, if he if he spots opportunity, I'll I'll take it. I think. But yeah. I mean, I, I, sort of the crisis has to be stopped because otherwise you wouldn't have any shows. Yeah. <laughs> so exactly. Um, whether that's with Barry's death, which will be interesting to see how Flash plans out after that, or whether Ollie does step up and do something different. Yeah. Um, there's been enough. The thing we the reason why we keep speculating all this stuff is because there's enough. Uh, stuff being thrown out every day about the crisis. This character, this actor's going to appear in it. This character might have a, a role. Mm. So with them, the amount of stuff they're touching on, yeah, they, they've got to be something crazy. in there we can we, you can pull on to say this is going to be the yeah. thing that saves us. Yeah, agree, <laughs> agree. Um, cool. So thank you for questions. Good one. Uh, yeah, so yay, yay, cartoon time. <laughs> I don't know what this one means. Could you guys react to nine one one? 
911. I've never heard of that. Is. Must be a TV show. Nope. Yeah. We have to uh, Google, we'll have we'll have Google, man, <laughs> and, and we'll let you know. Um, oh, half broad, half shark. A oh, man really? who always comments. Um, hey guys, congrats on nearing 5,000 subscribers. The first of many. Damn straight. <laughs> you guys, uh, will you guys eventually wreck to shows beyond DC? Either way, until. Um, Either, way, Either way, I'll still support you guys. Thanks for the awesome reactions. Thank you very much, dude. I love chatting to you guys in the comments. Yeah, um, earlier shows with Shield. Uh, yeah, so yeah, Shield. Love Shield. The trouble, with, the trouble is at the moment is that every, every show, show on is DC. TV is DC. Yeah. And we're, yeah, we've got. We were doing a lot of the Netflix Marvel stuff, but yeah. then that got cancelled and moved across back in. And uh, it, we, the, when does the Marvel's own shows start? Marvel so next, year. next year. Yeah. Now, yeah so. so yeah, the, we'll, pro, we'll try and we'll do try Marvel, Marvel, yeah. Marvel Plus. Disney Plus? Disney, Disney Plus, Disney Plus, Disney Plus shows. We're trying like Loki, yeah. um, One Division, and the Mandalorian. We want and yeah, the Mandalorian is going to be one we're definitely watching. So yeah, there's a lot of that. Um, there's also um, stuff that's already come out. Like uh, we've got, I know people have asked about okay. the Umbrella Academy, The Boys, um, yeah. Watchmen, Watchmen. Yeah, Watchmen. Um, be probably some of which stuff we're not fans of and don't particularly want to see. Or um, so then the book is The Boys. You guys aren't interested. Not particularly, but um, yeah. And I've already seen it because I. <laughs> Curious. I couldn't wait. Yeah. I couldn't wait. But then, yeah, there's there's stuff out there which just like, again we've got to find a time to react yeah. to it, and then it comes with consensus we want to watch as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so we definitely will do, and we still are. So, yeah. So I think so. Yeah. Talk, like, we'll say again in the end of the video. But yeah, Watchmen is going to be the ne after Titans is done. Mm -hmm. We'll do Watchmen because it's only six episodes. Up and lead up to Christmas, I guess, and then after that we'll try and work out where else we can try and fit in. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So we're trying to. Try, so the good thing is, I guess, when all the CW show shows stop, mm -hmm. unless there's anything new comes on, we'll have like a big gap. Then yeah. we can then go mm -hmm. back and watch stuff. Is what the plan. But yeah, thank you for your question, man, and love speaking to you in the comments. You're great. So you've got uh, you got Silla W. Yeah, yep. Silla W. Congrats. Thank you. How do you guys get into comic books, especially living in the UK? So oh, I think no. we sort of half covered a little bit. But I mean, I got I got into comic books watching. The animated series Batman. Mm -hmm. I'm going to mention it multiple times. <laughs> I mean, I have to start sponsoring them. Um, but yeah, but and then and then so yeah, got to get into that and say, and Liam, he does um, the podcast with us when he used to live over in the UK. Me and him would go to town sort of every Saturday, go to this little comic book shop that was there and just pick up whatever it was. Pick up, yeah, pick up like they just had these little sort of bundles of comics. So it used to be there was like there was. I remember the first comic I ever bought was Flash and Superman versus the Reverse Flash. Oh, nice comic book to start yeah, off that was the first comic I, and I all I did is I, I kept reading it and then all I did was draw it I just copy it onto the nice, paper that's nice, all I nice. did and then the second one I bought was Death of Superman Jesus that's a hell of a start yeah. I remember buying those little selections of like say I had like the bits of the Clone Saga in it and had this one where it was like Fantastic Four and Spider-Man working together it was like Ben Reilly Spider-Man there was a little Venom series that I bought and then me and Liam bought this massive box of like 20 random ones and we sort of split up between us and I got like a mixture of Batman and Superman like old oh, 60 yeah. like not 60s maybe 80s ones I just had to read them and I was just like yep fucking love comics back in, back in many years ago when I was a nipper my public library had a like an, a young adult section oh, and really? in that was some comics and I was like oh what's this and I think the first one I ever picked up was Cataclysm which was the oh, start oh, of the nice. land so yeah. I got to the end of that and went what the hell's wrong with Gotham's destroyed? Yeah. This is not how comics are supposed to go. And I ended up a happy ending. Where's the happy ending? I oh, that's what I'd like to see in live action. Yeah. But no Man's Land. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I ended up seeking out the rest of No Man's Land, and I was on and off a comic book reader up until I went to uni, and I met my roommate slash housemate Mike. Actually, out to you, Mike. <laughs> who because uh, he, he had a big Finn planet in Leicester, and uh, ah, right. I ended up just buying, spending a lot of my student loan money on that and not on food. So <laughs> yes, <laughs> uh, it sort of spiraled out of control from there. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, but perfect. But yeah, thank you very much. For question. So we've got uh, two questions from Name Coming Soon. <laughs> uh, great name <laughs> in capitals as well. Name yeah. Coming Soon. Um, when you guys aren't reacting to shows, do you guys watch other reaction channels uh, that watch the same stuff as you? Like Blind Wave, for example. They are a great channel who are friends with other reaction channels like the Normies. Just wanted to know if. You in your spare time you watch other reactors uh, yes. yes yes we do uh, we, in fact we, uh, Blind Wave one of our inspirations yeah. for starting yeah, yeah. I mean yeah I mean, people call us the British Blind Wave quite regularly uh, I mean we might have subconsciously yeah. Yeah. I mean please yeah. no notice us <laughs> yeah we love you Blind Wave come 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 to England we'll do a joint one but yeah so yeah Blind Wave I mean Chainsaw Reacts I quite yeah. like him at the moment he's, he's doing quite yeah. a lot of mm -hmm. cool stuff um, oh, who's the other ones I watch there's a few I kind of I like watching um, Tyrone Magnus. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's great. Yeah, he's great. He's great. One million subscribers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's I great. Two, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah two million subscribers. I mean, um, I, I know she doesn't do reactions, but uh, Grace, 
she does. Oh, of, beyond the trailer. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She does a lot of um, movie reviews. That yeah, I watch yeah. And does like really in depth like breakdowns, which I really like. I really enjoy watching. I used to really like superhero news. Mm. Um, but then when Hector, Adam, and I can't remember the third one. It's called. Yeah. They moved to hyper RPG. Yes. Yeah. They kind of sometimes it is just them three. Sometimes it's a mixture of two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I watched them. Um, I've watched them a little bit, but I don't watch them as much as I used to. Mm. Um, yeah, there are a couple of um, ones that react to the same stuff we do, but I can't remember their names. Oh, you have got the Matthew, Matthew Hayes, is it? I think yeah. I watch. Um, Who's um Ak- Ak- Akasan? Akasan. Yeah, yeah. yeah I watch. I watch him quite a lot as well. So he's just trying to find time. It's just interesting. So once we've reacted to something, mm. um, yeah, I don't normally watch their reaction to like we said our yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. So that yeah. it's different. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I, I usually will go and um, I listen to what they have to say as well. See if they've got the same sort of opinions and yeah. that's yeah. quite interesting to, to to have a look at. But yeah, but, you know, fantastic question. Mm-hmm. Um, second question is uh, which characters from DC best describes you guys? <laughs> Think of a character. <laughs> but it's getting complicated. Think of a character for yourself and the other guys think of a character for you just to see what you think of yourself and the others think of you. <laughs> oh I mean, we could get really nasty with this one. It's <laughs> Juice Harley Quinn. Oh, well, I thought you were going to call me like the penguin or the blob or something. Yeah. <laughs> I'm being nice. <laughs> uh, you call me bullet. blob. <laughs> could you bob, goddammit. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I don't know if we can answer that question, man. That's going to get... I mean, I like to think of myself as Superman, but I don't. No, I'm not. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, my inner, my inner self. Yeah. But yeah. With Alfred. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I mean, pff, I don't know. We get stuck on that one for hours. Yeah. Very good question. Uh, we'll get back to you. We'll do a little, <laughs> yeah. little about. It. Yeah. Um, Charlie Mail Meltich. Meltich. Yeah. I'm so crucifying all these names. Um, I hope it's not too late. No, it's not. I must have gone. Uh, right, favorite characters? DC uh, Marvel or other? Yeah, but DC Marvel. We sort of covered them a little bit already. Um, any of you reading current runs? If so, which ones are your favorites? Uh, See, so, yeah, I get a monthly subscription at the moment. I'm a little bit behind on what they are. But I get, I get Batman, Detective Comics, uh, Nightwing, Justice League, and I've just started collecting the Harleen mm. little series that they're mm. doing because that front cover of that issue one I've only, I'm, in love, I'm in love with ongoing run I read which stopped for a while ago was Scott Snyder's run on Batman um, yeah, then, yeah. I, got, I mean I got all, like, a lot of new 52 stuff Rebirth yeah. stuff that's the only one I'm doing the one I like recently I like the they did this like, story arc which was called The War of Jokes and Riddles mm. oh yeah that was really cool that was that. I mean I, the, the way they did the Riddler was a bit strange but like it was like very clever storyline yeah. it's about sort of six issues I quite like the one with um, Batman getting married to Selena Carl as well or Bruce getting that married to Selena Carl that was quite a cool little, <coughs> cool episode as well but I haven't, yeah, I haven't read him in a while the only one I'm reading is spider Gwen, which I think is down there yeah <laughs> yeah yeah. you keep going all the time yeah, yeah. but yeah um, and DC Universe is holding a contest now soon to pilot a pitch a top prize gets a producer credit mm. oh this is made up. I hope this is made up because this is real we should really get onto it <laughs> and they help filming and all that Which, what would you guys pitch for a pilot to the DC Universe app what's that like a broken, a broken record here yeah. Green Lantern TV show <laughs> yeah. please for fuck's sake <laughs> Yeah, all I want is a Green Lantern TV show if, Diggle, if Diggle's not going to do it they need to make a damn TV show about Green Lantern mm. there's so much scope for all the other corps like the bad guys yep. mm. the, all the different Green Lanterns in general like just so many great ones you could do like, I'd also love I just I really want to do a proper Batman show yeah, yeah Batman and Robin now, but yeah, mm. not like, yeah just starting Batman starting out mm. coming back to Gotham do you yeah. know what I mean yeah. just, we haven't had one since 1966 <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, and I want to know if you. I know what you think of that show. Mm. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I'm a proper. I mean, it's it's about time. Like, especially Barry. Him building the Batmobile, yeah, all the gadgets. Yeah, Barry's going. They could, I mean, with what the CW does, they could do a great Batman show. Mm. Even the DC app could do a great Batman. It show. could be a, a prequel, and it shows you the reason why he leaves for Batman. three years, and shows you why yeah. he's not in. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And definitely. then they can bring him back, and it makes sense. Yeah. I totally agree. But he did say DC Universe. Yeah. yeah. So I'd yeah. prefer it on the DC Universe because I think they do better. Yeah, they would do. Yeah, I think so as well. So, yeah, thank you for the question. Very cool. Um, you got Andrew Reyes. Hey, I just want to say that is 
as a stressed out college student, is your reaction to get me through oh, a school nice. year? Right. So congratulations on hitting the 5,000 crows. Thank you for making me laugh. Keep up the great work. Oh my god, then I hit read more. And there's, <laughs> <laughs> and there's those more. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much. Shout out from Long Beach, California. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Right, right, right. Nice. That's amazing. Um, now, here is a list of questions I'm curious about. Where did you guys meet? We've done. Yeah. Besides making Arrowverse videos, what do you guys do for a living? Cover. Done. <laughs> Sorry, we're going to put it. Um, be honest, do you prefer DC or Marvel? I think we're DC. All DC fans, yeah. yeah, DC. I, don't, I, love, I love Marvel stuff in Marvel, but DC mostly. Um, if you could have one superpower, what would it be? Ooh. That's a good I have the power to have any powers I want. <laughs> All right, is it a genie where you ask for wishes? <laughs> Don't start that. Kryptonian DNA. <laughs> uh, one power. I think it'd have to be flight. Yeah? Yeah. I think flight is awesome. Yeah, mm. I think it's a good call. I mean, others would be cool, but if you were the one human flying around. If I couldn't have flight, it would be super speed. Mm. I think. Mm. Super speed is pretty cool. I, I, can't, I, can't, I, I like, yeah. like, like, would strength and vulnerability be two different things or one thing? Because there's always usually one thing together. No, no it's Jessica, be Jessica different. Jones has strength but not vulnerability. Yeah. So, um, Who does? Jessica Jones. Does. Yeah. No, she's still pretty, like, super strong. She's super strong, but she's she not vulnerable. Actually, she's actually oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, yeah. I'm just trying to think like Luke Cage is like, super strong and vulnerable. Yeah. Superman yeah. super strong. It just usually comes together. <sighs> like, vulnerability would be pretty freaking sweet. I mean, never, yeah. never get hurt. Yeah, I suppose <laughs> your stress levels would just be so low. Yeah, yeah. Have to that's, worry that's what I'm about with um, super speed. Is like you could get all the little tasks in your life done. Yeah, but you, you can still I... be shot when you're dead. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you can still be shot when you're dead. I mean, when you're sleeping. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a, probably the greatest moment ever. <laughs> shot when you're dead. You still could be shot. Yeah. You still could be shot when you're dead. <laughs> I meant when you're sleeping. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. is what impulse impulse found out in Smallville. It's fair enough. No, I was thinking about you know all the all the all the little things that stress you out. Getting to commute to work and back in a day, you can yeah. run around. Yeah, yeah, very true. Yeah. All the little things just yeah. gone from your life. Yeah. You get on with the things that really matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I like, like that. Yeah, yeah. But if you can fly, you can fly at super speed. Yeah, I didn't say any speed. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just, he's just hovering at four miles an hour. We there soon. Give it a flip. Yeah. Yeah. Push them. Yeah. Yeah. Bird, birds overtaking you. What the fuck is this guy doing? Oh, Jesus. Yeah. oh god okay um, and but keep studying and you're awesome <laughs> yeah, yeah. How, a couple more questions yeah. yeah how do you guys meet and get into comics oh sorry how did you guys get into comics yeah. covered do you guys have any recommendations we've already listed quite yeah. a few mm. most Batman stuff like mm -hmm. from the 80s uh, Green Lantern with Jeff Johns Green Lantern mm. Flash um, Jeff Johns anything Jeff Johns really <laughs> everything he's done and then like artwork wise Jim Lee or mm. Gary Frank for me are probably the favourites and who is your favourite superhero and why so I'll cover that as well mm. Mm. yeah thank you for all your love questions thank you for support from California that's crazy mm. <laughs> Lara's, Lara's come back with another question do you guys wear your fandom shirts in real life or just for your videos? Oh no, these are these are daily. Yeah. I don't own anything else. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have I have three drawers. It's like a DC drawer, mm -hmm. there's a Marvel drawer, and there's other drawer. The other drawer barely gets used unless I'm going out somewhere with my wife Formal, and she and she yeah. doesn't want me to wear a coat. So come and who says the a superhero iconography is limited to just t-shirts? But you always wear the superhero t-shirt <laughs> underneath the other shirt, right? Damn right. Yeah. Yeah. It's usually <laughs> Superman when I go. <laughs> Damn straight. Oh, so many questions. It's gonna be like another video. Um, okay, uh, Mike Grow. What do you guys think of Pennyworth? Is this your friend Mike? Yes, so Mike Mike Grow. Yes, yes. Go, on, Mike. Uh, what do you guys think of Pennyworth? We've only watched the first episode, episode and we've really enjoyed it. Really, really good. Yeah. That's another one that we're going to try and pick up again when yeah. the other shows stop because we really want to watch yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it was really good. We yes. were hoping to do more of it. We got caught up in all kinds of things. Mm. <laughs> That's it when it when it came out, yeah. and then the CW started back up again. It was like, oh great, we've got no time. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, would you guys consider doing viewer requests, comic, um, viewer requested comic book movie reviews? Ooh. Yeah, why yeah. not? That sounds, like, that sounds like a great yeah. idea. Perhaps a certain tier level on Patreon. Mm. That'd be really cool. Uh, favorite comic book arc story arc. I mean, it's gonna be hush. Has got to be favorite comic story. Uh, uh, Death of Superman. For me. Death of Superman. Yeah. Uh, have you thought about Let's Play channel like Twitch or YouTube for comic book games? Yes, yeah, yeah, we that's what we yeah, yeah, sort of mentioned that earlier. So yeah, we do games nights, um, and we're thinking about trying to somehow tr um, stream them as well. We all yep. play. All we, we all play computer games as well. So we should really try and start streaming them a bit as well. Um, watching you guys play and discuss the Arkham games or Spider-Man game would be pretty sweet. <laughs> Got a lot to say on that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've Definitely. just finished playing 
Arkham Asylum again. Road to Arkham, yeah. the remake. Yeah, yeah. I've really borrowed good. your PlayStation just to play the Spider-Man yeah. game, yeah. Uh, which I'm like halfway through at the moment. You've got um, to finish that, man. It's so good. I know, uh, but yeah, there's so yeah. I mean, they are, I've played the Arkham games mm. so many times. Maybe we should get that set up for this new Arkham Legacy that's coming. Yes, out. Yeah. yeah, why not? So Definitely. when when the CW shows finish next season, uh, the end of this season, so sort of January, uh, sort of February, March time, isn't mm. it? Usually, yeah. we can look into. Using some of our free time to try and put some together to a Twitch yeah, channel, or maybe definitely, mm-hmm. definitely, definitely something yeah. like that. So, yeah, sounds good. Um, so yeah, thank you, Mike, for your question. Beautiful. Um, Keep on rocking Japan, mate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dark God, God, Dark Side. Yep. Great oh, name. Yeah. Great name. Best DC Comics villain for you guys. I guess we don't say Dark Side. He's going to kill us. <laughs> <laughs> he's damn good. Though. He's good. Done. Yeah. Dark Good. good dark Side. I like Lex Luthor when he's written as the man- manipulative um, mm. super genius rather than the. Kevin Spacey businessman but uh, yeah, <laughs> it's just, yeah yeah no yeah I, I mean like we said sort of the top 10 DC fans I'd say Riddler is still one of my favourites yeah. as well but yeah Dark Side's great yeah. um, Sinestro I think is great yeah. as well I like yeah. Black Manta quite a lot as well his character I like Mongol as well mm. yeah Mongol's cool as well so quite a few you can't hard to pick one because it's all so great yeah <clears throat> um, Lara E what's your thoughts on the possibility spin off of Mi- Mira Mia has uh as Green Arrow and the Black Canaries Laurel and Dinah uh, we've done a podcast on this didn't we talking mm. about this and it's now been confirmed that's actually happening I'm quite interested to see if it's going to be set in the future or somehow Mia gets brought back to present time um, I mean I kind of thought when they were going to get rid of Arrow that they would leave it they would slot like I don't know Black Lightning or Legends or something mm. into that slot rather than doing a new show yeah so I don't know. I will. I will, will watch it. I don't, I'm not saying I'm over excited about it. Yeah. If I'm honest, I think it's, it's the end game syndrome, isn't it? We're not looking forward to anything after the crisis at the moment, but we'll see what comes out of it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then uh, other question she's got is: What episode do you think that Supergirl and Batwoman should refer the crisis that is coming? Batwoman probably shouldn't mention it until because it, it's still trying to find its own. Yeah, but also yeah. it's a prequel to the last to crossover, the, isn't yeah. it? So I don't think that's going to happen. So I think that should stay clear of it until it's she's called in in the same capacity she was in the yeah. last crossover Supergirl nearly needs to pick up on its own I think mm. um, yeah because all that you, we saw at the end of the last episode of Arrow one of the Earth, th- Earth 2 got destroyed mm-hmm. yeah. yeah so surely she's got to have to notice something or Barry's going to have to cross over and tell her just out of interest mm. you're also in danger you know just that you know yeah, yeah, yeah. somebody's yeah. going to FYI FYI, FYI guys yeah. imagine if Arrow, one of the Arrow episodes he comes over <coughs> that'd be yeah. really good mm. or like uh, the monitor pulled Malefic out of the Phantom Zone mm. So for, hopefully he, for a reason. Yeah, so, so maybe that's going to tie into it. Yeah, maybe one of the people he's talking to is from a different earth. Well, we, we, the end of last episode, of Supergirl, we got rid of Jimmy and uh, Kelly, so they're narrowing the cast down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, Be interesting what they do with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. cool. So, um, yeah. So nearly there, nearly there. We've got five more to go. So got Muztac reviews or Muztac reviews. Did you guys hear that Cameron Clough being reached out in order to make an appearance in the crisis? He rejected, but if so, what do you guys think, and how would he, uh, uh, and how would you like Gotham to join it as well? I'm mean, very pretty sweet. Oh yeah. I mean, I'm not right? sure what Gotham would do apart from just fire bullets at it, and <laughs> you got to was it? You got him and Joe, Joe West and Gordon being like, if you, like you, you just use the Amazing. Gordon two tap method in the chest as long as you don't shoot it in the head because yeah. you know, well, I suppose by that time, Batman would be about. Yeah. Yeah, true. I guess it's the same universe, or is it just? Yeah, that'd be pretty sweet. I mean, mm-hmm. you said the villain Charlotte Riddler and Penguin just show up and yeah. start trying to take him down. <laughs> Hilarious. Um, They're both trying to fight to get. Yeah. Oh no, the monitor's book got destroyed. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, I mean, Segel showing up would be pretty freaking sweet. Yeah. I mean, uh, especially if we got all those Supermen, he would see his grand uh, yeah. grandsons. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're all Kelly. Yeah. What the fuck? So I've been busy in multiple yeah. universes. <laughs> I've been getting my I've been getting my game on. Yeah, Adam's like, oh, you don't worry about what I said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty. Yeah. Good. That'd be pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Um. So we've got John O, not John O, it's John O. No, right. Okay. What DC character or group would you like to see get a show on DCU? i repeat myself again. <laughs> Green Lantern. Green Lantern. Yeah. Green Lantern. Yeah. Next. Green Lantern. And then I wouldn't mind a, like, Zatanna. Yeah, I think that's... Dead man. No, you've got a point. I haven't seen a lot of the magical side of DCU yeah. ever portrayed in live I mean, action. they tried Constantine only yeah. last of the season, but yeah. now he's been brought into Legends. There was a one-off, there was a spin-off comic, I'll just mention very briefly, um, that came out when they did Flashpoint. 
um, yeah. in the comics, and then they had a load of oh, this is what's happened. This is here's a load of spin-offs of what actually happened in the rest of that universe. And it was the one comic I can't remember what it's called. It's based around Tracy Thirteen, and she was journeying around the post Flashpoint universe when it Atlantis had been sunk right. Europe, and all the magical characters that were in there. It's like this is really cool. These characters are really interesting. I've never seen any of them do much yeah. in any of the crises. So maybe a show based more around the magic side of DC universe. Yeah, which, I think that'd be good. As we say now that um, Swamp Thing's not being ready for a second season, uh, yeah, if you want to do the dark. Just, uh, just the dark again. Yes. Titana would be a good place to start, I think. Mm. Yeah, um, definitely. Yeah. Think, yeah, why not? I mean, Titana would be great to yeah. see. I'd love to magic, see. magic will use a base DC show. Yeah. Felix Faust is a bad guy. Yeah, definitely. Be great. Um, oh, are you sure this isn't you? <laughs> Ross the Boss. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Ross the Boss. Good name. <laughs> yeah. How are we doing, fellas? Pretty damn all right. Thanks very much. Mm-hmm. Um, is there any chance we see you guys branch away, um, branching out to Star Wars slash Mandalorian when it releases? Yes. Yes. Hundred percent. Yes. 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 <laughs> we, uh, we will definitely be watching Mandalorian yep. and the Kenobi show when it's out as well. Oh, I'd love to see yeah. that. Yes. I can't wait. I can't wait to yeah. see Obi Kenobi come back. Like Neil McGregor. Yeah. It's like mm. so. I think good. it's what the, the entire fan base has been clamouring for that for the better part of a decade yeah. now. Yeah. It's like he's the right age. The right. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. If you don't do it now, you're going to miss out on that. <clears throat> yeah. 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 Um, yeah, so yeah, def- most definitely we'll be branching out to that. I think um, so. Thank you very much for your question. Um, I'll just swap these two questions around really quickly. So, um, Antomic Antomics four thousand says, "Who are your favourite superheroes?" So we sort of covered that already. Um, then this last one, C uh, C J Studios, yeah, a little bit political. It goes, "Hey guys, um, oh congratulations, subscribers! I love your content and your excellent. Um, really makes my day. Thank you very much. Um, I have to ask you. Everyone has asked you who your favourites are. Who is your least favourite characters in the DC universe? As in a character you hate? The oh. comics or the TV shows? Or I think just characters like... in the DC universe, like in DC oh. characters you hate. It's hard to say because you, you all know how I feel about Barbara from Gotham. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. She's used. not, yeah. I mean, comic book wise. But comic book wise. Um, it's hard to think. I mean, Stun Silence, man. I'm not too sure. I'm trying to think of comic books I, I like. Mine, mine is. Because you don't tend to read stuff you don't like. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I definitely don't like Tweedledum and Tweedledee. Oh, and they in, put it into Batman. Into Batman. I hate that so much. Um, yeah, I'm not a massive fan of the penguin either, as you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not that I, I don't know. It's weird. Like when he's in, a, like I'm looking forward to him in this new Batman movie, because I do think he makes a good villain. But I, I just think he's so, it's so. Um, what's the word? Um, oh, uh, I feel like he's so beneath Batman. Mm-hmm that he kind of is a bit of like you know like Batman sometimes yeah. works with the Justice League and he like takes on Dark Side and he avoids Omega Beams and it's like but one of his main bad guys is a fat little guy in a penguin suit yeah. and it's yeah. like <laughs> with an umbrella yeah it's kind of a bit demeaning to Batman I feel Top like of sometimes my head, one of the things I really didn't like I mean I'm, as you guys are aware I don't like I didn't like what the New 52 did to DC Universe in general mm. um, was it New 52 or uh yeah, yeah, it was New Fifty Two. Yeah. Oh, when they, they killed, the, like, because I, I that, at that time I was heavily buying trades and going through all the, the lines, yeah. and then New Fifty Two just went, we're going to change the entire universe, just like that. Yeah. Um, and then uh, one, because I was a big fan of Teen Titans comics, up and they were doing a really good plotline up until then, and then the, the Teen Titans didn't exist in the new D, DC New Fifty Two, and when I brought them back, they were awful. <laughs> they, mm. All of them were awful. <laughs> yeah. So that's a uh, that, yeah, that's off the top of my head. I tell you another villain I hate: Exu. Yeah. Who? Egg, oh no no wait, his name is Chang Zhu but he's also known as Egg Fu I think his name is that's the Wonder Woman one that's yeah. like a giant egg yeah, yeah. I, I'll tell you why I don't like him because I used to play DC Universe Online yeah. and when you did an alert called Oolong Island he was the last bad guy and he was a pain in the neck <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. I don't know I can't actually think of anyone I, I, I guess I hate. Uh, one of those funny joke ones as well like Kite Man and Condiment King God. there was um, Cod Piece <laughs> do you remember <laughs> do you remember where um, Moon would take the piss out of him because he had a small penis yes and then so he made a cod piece to shoot people that... <laughs> that's a thing yeah yeah Never it was a one off issue in mm. like I don't oh, know 1940 no, something no idea uh, off the top of my head that's the ones I can think of yeah, yeah. no I don't there's not any some I'm some not like, that like, interested in like say like Hawkman and Hawk Girl mm. like, I, they're okay characters I never I never buy comic with them in uh mm. Booster Gold's a weird one. I, I like him, but again, I never buy a comic book with him in. They do some good stuff with him occasionally. The yeah. um, countdown to no, not countdown. Countdown's awful. Plastic uh, Man. No, yeah, uh, no fifty-two. No. The one that came out 
telling you the missing year. Yeah. Um, the the, the fifty two. Um, Doomsday when, Clock. No. Uh, it had him and Rip Hunter traveling around the universe in the missing year. Of no. Post, no. post crisis and uh, <sighs> like just trying to figure out what gone wrong with the multiverse. Uh. And it was really really good. Because they were just like time traveling detectives using their time traveling abilities to figure out what the fuck. Yeah, so. yeah, no, yeah, um, and yeah, like Plastic Man would never buy. A comic. I mean, he's not, he's not bad. I just would never buy a comic with like if it was just him in it. But uh, it's pretty much about it, really. Yeah, not many. Um, <coughs> second question. I like this one. <laughs> what is which is your favorite live action Batmobile? Oh, oh eighty nine. Yeah, I say eighty nine. So yeah. You're a tumbler, aren't you? Yeah, I love. Yeah, yeah. I, I really like that again. I think the tumbler is definitely more practical. Yeah, yeah. But I like the look of the eight nine. Well, fair, that's fair enough. Cause it fits more in the comics, but because the, the way they built the whole film up to be Batman Begins universe be more sort of grounded, yeah. it made sense what they brought out. Oh yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, everything it was, about it was a different look as well. It wasn't like the sleek mm. car we've been used to. It's, everything about that film was was good. I think. Yeah, reminded me a lot of the Dark Knight Returns sort of tank looking thing. Yeah, didn't they, really? yeah, definitely. Um, and then the third part of the question was going to go to I say political going to be weird. Um, do you think the recent Joker movie betrays a better insight into mental illness, its destruction and lack of help and support, etc. In the U- in the USA or an origin story or a origin story for a Joker from the DC extended universe? Can you see any of the films following this? No, I think it should stay as a standalone film. It should not mm. have a sequel. It's but I feel like they should do the similar things with other villains. Mm. Like I'd love to see a standalone movie of how the Riddler yeah. became the Riddler. Like you saying with like Mr. Freeze. Yeah, you yeah. could see that would be good. I mean, yeah, it's uh, it was it, mental health in a lot of professions is a big thing at the moment, mm. especially in workplaces. Especially male, male yeah, mental, mental health, health as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and the joke, you know, it, came, it, it was pushed at the right, it came out at the right time to address some of those issues and mm. yes, it's an important thing that needs to be talked about. I'm not sure whether the joke addressed it well or good. I'm not qualified to speak on that to be honest. Yeah, no. um, I do, I do, I do, it does want me to have a little bit that all, they, all the reviewers and stuff concentrate on is the gun, is the violence. There wasn't a lot of it in there. No. <laughs> it's, that's what pisses me off because it's, it's mostly about mental health and mm. What happens to the people that fall through the cracks? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what, I, and I think it's a massive, powerful statement. And I think that's what made the movie so great because it's very real mm. to what's happening right now. So I think that's great. Um, but yeah, yeah. And I say we'd love to see more films do it, um, as well, in like villain movies. Villain movies, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. be, I like. Be, yeah, it would just be weird if DC just concentrate on villains. You could just create the, the mm. le- um, Legion of Doom for like exactly. no reason. One of the things yeah. about the Joker movie that you know uh, the character that became Joker in that was already quite fairly badly damaged. Yeah, you said fall through the cracks. I don't know if it'd be more interesting or not. It's just a thought I had to just to see how an ordinary person would would fare under that stress. Mm. It's not an ordinary person. Somebody with somebody who's like us. I'm hoping we're all ordinary. Who's um just has what you know as they do in the comics. One bad day and goes downhill. And ends yeah, up on that mm, plan. definitely. But it, it, you know, it's difficult to say with a film like that without being qualified enough to speak on mental health topics. That's why so. I think like the Riddler would work because you could have a guy who's really intelligent. Yeah, and he uses that intelligence for evil. I think that'd be great to show. Mm. But. So definitely. And he says at the end, "Thanks for the laughs. You're, you guys are great. So are you." Yeah, <coughs> yeah, yeah. That was. I mean, like that was a lot of questions. It was a long video. <laughs> down on that. Yeah, yeah it's a long video. But yeah, but um, yeah. So I just want to say um, once again, guys, thank you very much um, for all your love and support that over the last sort of eighteen plus months that mm-hmm. we've been doing this. Um, it really helps us sort of push through sort of getting everything done and sort of keeping ourselves busy trying to get this channel up and running um, the first things I do is just look through the comments yeah, yeah. yeah. Just sort of it gives us a massive massive boost uh, every yeah. day when we try and we try and reply and to as many it's great talking to a wider group of people other than ourselves here into comics to see yeah. what your the- mm. thoughts and theories are exactly yeah, yeah we love, love, um, love reading them we weren't even thinking about Connor rescuing uh, Jason when someone else mentioned it in one of the comments mm. yeah. Uh, in Titans, yeah, so. yeah. But definitely, yeah yeah I would say yeah the spoiler like sometimes spoilers come out we should have been I can't say annoying, but it's like we try and avoid spoilers. So, mm. but um, but yeah, that's, that's not we, that can't be helped. But yeah, but yeah, just once again, thank you very much for support. Um, hopefully the channel will keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Please tell your friends about us. Like, mm. um, get them to subscribe. Get them to um, if you guys aren't signed up to Patreon at the moment. Um, so we've got a tier two that does our full reactions on it, and we'll be looking to sort of add to that as we go on. We're currently building a website that's gonna have some stuff on it as well coming out. Mm-hmm. Um, we do the weekly podcast which if you guys haven't signed up to please do that because Liam does that with us and we do sort of a weekly topic generally is, covering anything that's come out in the news yeah, or yeah, have you anything, seen a film talking about that yeah, yeah, well, so. yeah, yeah. Um, and anything you guys want to maybe um, see us do so I know there's been a couple of um, 
like uh, requests or like ideas come up in those questions that we're sort of looking to. But anything else you'd like to see us do, or if anything else, any, any other information you'd like us to do, like let us know. Please, I'd love to um, hear from you guys. And please come and come and sign up to all our social media as well. Um, we'd love to love to get that up and running a bit, bit, bit better as well. Um, and please, yeah, bear with us. And uh, we're still young and well, not young. We're like middle aged and learning. <laughs> How to uh, how to do this kind of yeah. stuff? So yeah, so very um, and yeah, thank you very much again from the bottom of our hearts, and we'll see you again very soon. <laughs>